We all know that beautiful, elegant caterpillars build chrysalises and turn into hideous, nightmarish butterflies. But what happens inside a chrysalis? What creates those little abominations? Here's what doesn't happen. Caterpillars slowly morph into butterflies, growing wings, eyes, etc. in the process. Nope, it's actually a lot grosser than that. The caterpillar's own digestive juices dissolve its body, turning it into a soup of proteins with some random body parts thrown in. Ah, oh, caterpillar soup, just like my Aunt Sheila used to make. Anyway, that soup also includes cells called imaginal discs, which grow into butterfly structures like wings while the body reforms. Bake at 375 on the bottom rack for a few more minutes and voila, a butterfly. The craziest part is that in spite of turning into goop and back again, butterflies can retain memories from their caterpillar days, which means that somehow some nerve connections survive that change. The scientific conclusion here is don't be a jerk to a caterpillar or it'll hate you forever as a butterfly. Like tiny things that might hate you? Watch my video on viruses. I'm going to play that for like a second or two right now, so click really fast. They have DNA or RNA, but they're not made up of cells like other life forms. They do reproduce, but they need a host cell to do it. Did you miss your chance? Click now to subscribe.